Hey guys, welcome back, it's Bernard, and today I'm gonna to show you some tips and tricks on how to bake the perfect sugar cookie. There are a few options to consider when you decide what you're going to use to bake your cookies on. I have a few examples here. Um, the first kind of, I would say, maybe call out of what not to do is dark color metal. Uh, dark surfaces are gonna attract more heat. It's gonna make your cookie brown a lot quicker and maybe not be quite as done in the middle. So no black, no dark colors. That's my first recommendation. Uh, that leaves us kind of with two different uh, cookie sheets. One with an edge all the way around and one with an edge only on one side. Um, a lot of people will use this. This is actually technically called a jelly roll pan. Uh, not the best thing for baking cookies. Um, the reason why is the natural convection of heat in an oven. The heat comes up and it comes on either side of the pan, all the sides. When you have an edge like this, it's gonna prevent the cookie from browning properly on the edges of the cookie. So that's why this is better for baking like a brownie type thing because it has an edge to it. Not as good for a cookie, though you can use it. I know most people probably have these. Um, it'll still work, just not quite um, as good as this type of a cookie sheet that is flat on three sides. Um, this allows the heat in the oven to come up on all the edges of the pan, bake your cookie really nice and evenly. Um, so this style of pan is my favorite. I always line my cookie sheets. Um, you could use the silicone mat. Um, these are readily available at any baking shop. Um, and I just put it right in the middle of the cookie sheet. Um, I choose to use parchment, that's another option. Parchment is nice because I bake a lot and these silicone mats can get expensive. Uh, the great thing about parchment, uh, two things is, one, your cookies don't stick um, to the pan, so you don't have to worry about that. And the second, probably biggest bonus is the cleanup is a breeze because the cookies slide right off and your cookie sheet's clean, let it cool down and use it again. Okay, so we've talked about uh, the type of cookie sheet to use and the fact that I like to use parchment. A couple other little tips. Uh, make sure that you bake the same size cookie again on the tray. If you have greatly different sh uh, size cookies, they're gonna bake at different times. So I recommend keeping the size similar. Conventional cookie wisdom is 375 degrees temperature oven. I tend to like a lower temperature and a little bit longer baking time. So I do 350 for a little bit longer period of time. Um, these probably will take about 13 to 15 minutes. Um, if you're at 375, um, it's gonna be a little shorter baking time. Okay, we've got the cookies out of the oven now. These took, oh, about 13 and a half, 14 minutes. The way I tell that they're done, is you can just see it just barely starting to brown around the edge of the cookie. You can bake them a little bit longer if you want to, if you want a crisper cookie. I tend to like a little more tender cookie, so I take them out right, just right when they're starting to get a little golden. You don't want to take them out too soon because that's almost worse because then they're doughy and then they're hard to ice. So um, my tip would be to over bake a little bit more than under bake, but just when they barely, you start to see a little bit of golden brown. When you take them out of the oven, I just slide them off. Another reason why I love this kind of a cookie sheet because you can just slide that sheet right off. This will um, stop your cookies from baking immediately because they're off of that hot cookie sheet. So they'll cool quicker um, and stay the color that you want them. I like to bake the night before and then ice the cookies the next day. It gives um, a little bit of time for those butter solids that are in the cookie to, to harden up. Um, if you try to ice these right now, sometimes the icing doesn't stick quite as well. So bake them the night before, uh, put some plastic wrap over them once they're cooled and then they're all ready to go the next day. So there you have it, uh, some tips and tricks on how to bake um, a really good sugar cookie. Please like and subscribe. Um, leave some comments for me on your tips and um, ideas on how you bake the perfect sugar cookie. I would love to hear and learn from you as well. Thanks a lot for joining me and have a great day. So I chose this card today because my birthday is coming up soon. So this is a birthday card with a beautiful stiletto on it. And while normally